My testimony is, I'm testifying because of what God has been doing in me and through me. Um, as I stated last week, these last couple weeks have been very, very hard for me. Um, not being in the same house with my wife and my daughter. Yeah. Um, and, and just, you know, sometimes the enemy will cause certain things to come in your life. And as a man, it'll cause you to feel like you're not the provider that God intends for you to be. Wow. But I thank God for just fixing the whole situation. Amen. I thank God for all of you. I thank God because he gave us somewhere to stay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. He blessed us with it, and we're going to be paying less than we had I before. Right. I thank God for that. I thank God for my church family. I thank God. Um, I thank God for Brother Chucky. Because, yeah. yeah. man, you know, like, I know, I mean, I know I could have called any one of the brothers from the church. I know I could have called, but I know Antonio works on the day. I know. Um, Chris works on the day. I know everybody works on the day, but I thank God for Chucky because um, he never hesitates to help if he can help me. And I thank God because the job that me and Chucky done by ourselves pretty much Jesus. was a job somebody else would have needed for. They would have needed a moving company for. It. But I thank God for working with us and being the strength behind our arms. I also um, thank God because for the last night or two nights, I've actually been able to sleep and have peace. And I'm learning more and more and more that it's nothing like peace. It is nothing like peace. And when you get to a point where you honestly believe that, you don't have to have money, you don't have to have people around you. You can, you can actually be hungry, but if you got peace, then you know that God is there and He's strengthening you. The other thing I thank God for, which is a big thing, like I said, those last couple weeks, I was fighting with my inner self. Um, I was fighting with a part of me that wanted to do wrong and a part of me that decided and thought about doing things and going out and going and talking to women and all kinds of things. You know, the devil will try certain things. Yeah. When, when you're in your weakest moment, that's when he that's becomes it. stronger. That's what it is. But I thank God because even though I was feeling weak and I felt like I was at my lowest, God gave me strength to open up my word. And the scripture that I looked up was where it said in the Bible that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. And God I thank God because he constantly reminds me that he's not no like solar system type God, no God that's so far away that he can't still talk to me because yes, even on the night when I opened up my Bible and found that scripture, it really catered to the way I was feeling and what I was going through. Yes. So I just thank God for my family, I thank God for uh, yeah. my mom, our pastor. I thank God for his strength. I thank God for uh, everybody here. I thank God for the Deacon Dawson. Because I'm trying to tell you, boy, sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I come to church and I just be tired and I keep looking at the clock because I don't know what's gonna happen. But I thank God because she can pray and make you forget about everything. And make you start thanking God and make you, make you put things in perspective. Yes, sir. I also thank God for uh, Brother Chris, who I'm desperately still praying for. I'm seeking God with him to try to find out exactly what is going on in his head. <laughs> and I'm y'all laughing. I'm being serious. Sometimes I just be like, Lord bless him. Touch his mind and give him strength. Because anybody that knows Tiffany knows that it is possible to really get along with her. Let alone want to be with her. God love the truth. Ain't say we was gonna like it. Yeah. But um, I thank God for all y'all. I thank God for my beautiful wife. Yeah. Who is going to cook today when we get home to our new place. Yeah. 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 Amen. Let me say that again for the pastor. She's going to cook today when we get home. Oh my gosh. 
That's the end of my testimony. Amen. I think we've covered the house for our testimony Sunday. Uh, I would be remiss if I did not take advantage of, oh, okay, Sister Kai has one more testimony very quickly. Yes. Kai, oh. um, Also, I want to thank Lori for my little cousin, because last night I had a dream that scared me so bad. And she is so irritating. She's like, the little sister, sometimes I never wanted, but she always right there. And I love her with her over, I just love her so much. You know, she's really irritated. I would be so, so miserable if I ever woke up and she just wasn't here. Oh, I go for her. Oh, amen. <laughs> amen. I want to thank and praise God that all of you had something to thank God for. Amen. And this has been our testimony service. Uh, or testimony Sunday that we celebrate every month and it's just a matter of coming together <clears throat> to thank God. Amen. But I would be remiss if I did not allow a thanksgiving praise to come from one who I love dearly who has been a friend to me for many many years, who has been my backbone. We push each other and I thank God that I see her going to higher heights, deeper depths and getting ready to soar into brand new elevations. Put your hands together for none other than Dr. Evangelist Vanessa Hoff as she comes very quickly and gives a few statements. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. 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 Remember, I told y'all when God sends us a visitor, He's trusting us with something. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I tell you, I came in just to deliver a mic back. <laughs> I really thought that the service would be over, but sometimes what you think ain't the right thought, because God has the plan for Amen. you. Amen. So maybe it was meant for me to come in at this time Amen. so that I can give some praise to God. Amen. Not that I don't always thank Him, but as the apostle said, this is Testimony Sunday. Amen. And a lot of times, even with being a saint of the Lord, you don't testify in front of folk the way that you should. You praise them, but you don't testify. And when you testify, it brings out that innerness of you, that meaning of what God has actually done in your life, that meaning of the relationship that you have with God, that meaning of that belief and that faith you have in God. So I'm just so glad to be here. And my testimony is I've been running this road fighting as Apostle uh, Farley has alluded to. If you knew me years ago, to get in front of a mic, you had to beat me down, tie me up, and throw me up front. I would never, never, never talk. But see, sometimes God places people in your life that will motivate you and help deliver you to the place that you would be. And those two people that God placed in my life is Apostle Farley and my dear late sister, Nomi. I'm going to tell it like it is. Nomi says, if anybody bother you, I come. Because, you know, she was a true child of God that would give you inspiration. And, you know, I feel so thankful to God that he put these two individuals in my life. 